And there really has been a huge response in the independent media as well. I've got such an amazing amount of support from listeners and from other researchers. And I've seen so many people focusing on this 5G grid as well. So many people talking about the smart grid, the Internet of Things, and a lot of people are noticing where we're really going now and where all this is actually leading. Because as I said, the smart grid is the end game. This is the new world order itself. The digital smart grid where you will be required to pay for every single aspect of your life. And that's what it will be like, folks. Like in England, you've got to pay to use the bathroom in train stations, the same in Holland. This will happen in your own house. You'll soon have to pay to use the bathroom. You have to pay to use the stove, pay to switch a light on. They'll be presenting it to you saying, oh, look, this is much better for you. You're not going to have to pay for electricity all the time the way you were. You're only going to be paying for what you use. So we will need to detect what you use. But what they're doing is they're putting a dollar value on every single aspect of your life. You'll be able to flick a switch on and look at your digital credits and watch one credit drop down because you flicked the light switch on. You'll be able to see one credit drop down if you leave the fridge open too long. You'll be able to see credits drop down when you run a bath for yourself, when you take a shower, when you make your coffee, when you get in your car, when you lift your telephone, when you do anything. That's the way it's going. And it can only happen if there's no cash. That's the thing. And once it is all digital like this, that's what I mean. It doesn't matter where the currency comes from. It doesn't matter what form it takes. It doesn't matter whether it's fiat currency in a bank that's turned digital. It doesn't matter whether it's blockchain. It doesn't matter whether it's tangled. It doesn't matter what it is. As long as it's digital, it can work. If it's not digital, then it can't work. They can't have you putting dollar coins in slot machines every time you want to open your fridge or turn on a light. They have to make it digital. And that's why people need to step away from all digital transactions when they're operating in the real world. I mean, sure, it's okay buying digital stuff online. You've got to buy airline tickets. You've got to do this or do that. But when you're going shopping, when you're purchasing something, going to the supermarket, going to the store, going paying for gas, any of that stuff, don't use the machines. Go and draw cash out of the bank and go in and pay for it with cash. Maybe a little more inconvenient, but trust me, it's going to be far more inconvenient for you to be locked down into a digital slavery system. And that's the way we're going if people don't pay attention to where they're being led. Now, all the world is a stage, ladies and gentlemen. I've said it so much, and it is so true. And every time we think we've found a way out of this system, they come along and they turn it back against us, and they turn it into something else, and something that it wasn't ever supposed to be. They're very good at it, and there's every chance that they will attempt this with whatever plan anybody puts into place. So what we need to do is be diligent. We need to pay attention. We need to look at the bigger picture in all of this. We need to realize what this digital smart grid is and how it is going to control us and how it is the grid itself that is the problem. Now, the central banking system has been absolutely terrible what it's done, the slavery that it's brought about and the terrible hardship that it's put people in. But it can't last forever. We're all expecting it to crash, and we know it's going to. It can't continue what it's doing. And we've always thought that that was it. It was all about control, and that this control was always achieved by limiting people's access to funds. And sure, they're doing that as well, and they've always done that, but now they've sort of gone beyond that. Now it isn't about limiting your access to funds. It's about making sure that those funds are used and are spent for every single aspect of your life. Normal things that you took for granted will now cost you money. Normal things that you may think you were paying for before, but you really weren't. Now you will be paying for. It's all about control, folks. It's always been about control, and all the world is a stage. And when we try to make these changes, they always come in and nip it in the bud, and very often they get away with it. But we have an opportunity to keep it going in the direction we want it to go by simply being aware of how these things can be controlled, how they can be manipulated, and being open to the possibility that someone is trying to change it and someone is working to manipulate it, because most certainly they are.